Let's explore how to leverage ChatGPT to craft the dialogue for your rule-based chatbot. I'm going to use the decision tree that we previously created for choosing the perfect golf ball as our model. And don't worry about tracking that lecture down. The decision tree is included in the upcoming prompt. So first, we're going to reset ChatGPT, casting it as an experienced chatbot copywriter. To keep the conversation flowing naturally, I'm going to provide some guidelines like simplicity, concreteness, and more. Then I'm going to ask ChatGPT if it understands the mission. Now, this might seem peculiar, but verifying the AI's understanding at the outset can prevent miscommunication. If its response aligns with your intentions, you're set. If not, this is an ideal moment to course correct. Now, as we're generating text with ChatGPT, it's crucial to define our target audience, golfers across all skill levels. I've also found that specifying the age demographics helps ChatGPT tailor its language. I mean, after all, engaging with baby boomers differs from communicating with millennials. So my first attempt is to ask it to write an enticing and interest-rousing welcome message. ChatGPT replies with embedded GIFs, as you can see, but it seems to miss the point. That's where I realized I forgot to inform it that our chatbot is exclusively selling golf balls, and ChatGPT does not remember the previous conversation where we created that decision tree. So to get it back on track, I reiterate our chatbot's ultimate goal. The second attempt at the welcome message hits the mark. Now, depending on the chatbot platform chosen, I might need to tweak it further, but the message's overall tone and language cater well to my specified audience. My next request cuts to the chase by specifically requesting bot copy. Here's why I include that mermaid instruction for the decision tree that we created in the earlier lecture I mentioned. Now, rather than repeating the code verbatim, feel free to pause the video to familiarize yourself with the decision tree. Next, I'm going to command ChatGBT to write the chat message for A and the first set of user choices. To make sure we're on the same page, you can see what I'm talking about by scrolling up and seeing that A in the mermaid coid references the choice, recreational, as the first choice under the question, what type of golf do you usually play? That's where we are. And ChatGBT crafts a well-rounded prompt and provides emotionally resonating user choices. It even tastefully incorporates GIFs. I'm liking where this is headed. So I request bot copy for path B, meaning if the user selected recreational in the first choice, how should I express the next question in that path? Now, while ChatGPT's initial response is decent, I'm going to ask it for an alternative, seeking a more compelling phrasing. In this case, I actually prefer the sentiment expressed by, we all love a good round of golf. And the choices, pure enjoyment, I'm here for a good time. I like that better than what ChatGPT offered up before. I just think this second version is much more persuasive and speaks to the user's emotions. So forging ahead. I move on to path C, meaning the visitor chooses the first response, pure enjoyment. I kind of like how it starts with, got it, so you love to enjoy the game of golf. Well, I think that actually gives the users the confidence that the chatbot recognized their choice. But I'm not really fond of how it expresses the follow-on with ones that are more durable or have better performance. That leads me to the prompt, the user choices are worded well but rewrite the question so that a sixth grader understands it. Now, this is a great feature for many of the Gen AI tools. You can ask it to rephrase pretty much anything in simpler language simply by indicating the grade level you'd like it to target. That causes ChatGBT to rephrase the challenge to read, awesome, now when choosing a golf ball, do you want one that doesn't wear out quickly, one that can really enhance your, your game, or a bit of both? By the way, it also changes the options to fit that sixth grade reading level, although I had not requested that. This actually gives me the option to consider which combination of challenges and choices I want to incorporate into my evolving chatbot dialogue. Remember, I'm taking ChatGPT's responses as suggestions, not the final word. So finally, let's get to the goal of the chatbot, namely to recommend a specific golf ball. 
So assuming the user chose again, option one, I want a golf ball that lasts longer, ChatGPT recommends durability is the key, isn't it? For a golf ball that will stay by your side as long as possible, I recommend the Rixon Soft Feel. It's known for its resilience. ChatGPT then attempts to close the sale with the question, how about giving it a swing? Which encourages the user to add it to the cart or ask for alternatives. Obviously, if the user selects add it to my cart, we leave the chatbot and head for the order processing world. So there you have it, my friends. You can see how ChatGPT helped refine the dialogue for our intended audience, making each choice in the decision feel natural and engaging for them. If we were to continue this interaction to include all paths and outcomes of the decision tree, we'd have ourselves a great golf ball selling wizard of a chatbot. With the conversation flow well structured, it would now be time to implement it on your chosen chatbot platform like Planbot and let real world users put it to the test.